Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the arena survival action roguelike itself. We got two characters left to get danger level five wins with before we kind of get to play around a little bit more. Doctor is who we're going to go for today because I'm not looking forward to the saver. We'll see. But Doctor, 200% attack speed with medical weapons to go with a minus 100% attack speed on every weapon. Basically, that reads as 100% attack speed up with medical weapons and a huge penalty if you're not using medical weapons. So basically, use medical weapons, 5 HP regeneration. HP regen is doubled, which I don't know how that works now. The last time we played, HP regen worked completely differently. 5 harvesting and armor modifications are reduced by 50%. I mean, I don't really know. I have no idea how this is going to go. There's been so many new changes on the beta branch here. And HP regen got reworked. So I just really don't know how this is going to go. I'm going to go for medical gun just because I did do a scissors run last time on this character. So medical gun it is. Danger level 5. New enemies appear. Elites and hordes appear, which is a new thing. Enemies are stronger. More elites and hordes. And two bosses appear at once. So... I don't know. My my gut thought would be, like, I've been theory crafting that this new update is extremely in favor of attack speed because there's just so many more enemies. There's, like, uh, honestly, a frankly stupid amount of enemies now. You get a lot more money, but the game is, like, is very brutal. So the fact that we start with 100% extra attack speed is going to be probably a big deal. Uh, does it have one-to-one -one scaling? It does. It's one-to-one -one scaling. Sure, I'll take a little bit of that. Uh, this character could probably handle Weird Ghost. But I do want to make sure we get our medical weapons going here. Bing. Bang. Nope, nothing. Okay. Uh, okay, so how it works is you, we regenerate two health every X seconds. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, we can definitely handle Weird Ghost. It's one of the characters that I'm most confident can handle it so uh you know like we just regenerate like crazy that's our thing we're, we're a vampire we're a vampire doctor if only there was somebody in the cultural zeitgeist that i could liken myself to my goodness uh so we have 45 here let's go for a range damage landmine is not gonna be very logical uh, i do want fertilizer Alien tongue might be nice. I don't know. Seeing in the bottom right, it looked like we had two hordes and an elite. I think that um, elites are just better options. I don't know. I could be wrong, but elites, if you beat them, you get a guaranteed uh, legendary item. You get a guaranteed legendary for beating elites. I don't know what you get for hordes. I'm assuming you get more money because there's more enemies. But I don't even know if that's true. The last time I fought it, it seemed like they not every enemy dropped money. I mean, I guess I'll take range. I don't I don't know. Sure. Range damage. Armor is at a 50% penalty. I will definitely take some attack speed there. Uh, I'll get the fertilizer. Penalizing a stat I don't really care about. Boxing glove. I actually kind of want it, yeah. We attack really fast. Lens, sure. That's why we get the range up, so that we can get rid of it. <laughs> not really, but like, hey, why not? Yeah, I'm feeling like really, really strong right now, which is a great sign. Because this is, um, you heard it here first. This is the feast or famine patch. Unless it, you know, unless something gets changed, this game is basically, right now, hopefully you're playing a character who's strong early so that you can beat elites and handle the massive amount of waves, because if you can, you're going to be rich. If you can't, you are dead as hell. Uh, yeah, let's sure. I'll take some luck early. Great. <laughs> um. <sighs> what? Why, on the character who has a 100% attack speed penalty on a minigun, do you give me the minigun? And why is it still potentially valid? Oh my god, I'm gonna- I'll do it, fine. 
I'm gonna be a doctor. I'm gonna have all these guns and then one minigun. Dude, I don't think it's really the day for it. Why couldn't that show up on my like any of my other runs? I will say I know that it's probably just because it's tagged as a gun, and I don't use guns that often, like literal gun-tagged guns. I don't know. I, I, I'm curious to see how guns are going to fare in this, because there's just so many enemies, and piercing is way, uh, at way more of a premium than it used to be in the demo. Like, it feels, the game feels like the demo. Ooh. Feels like the demo in a way. But we don't have, uh, wait, piercing one. Sure, I'll get a little bit of that. Maybe I'll get bandana. If I get bandana, I'm I'm honestly probably chilling. But here we go. Here's a minigun. Does two damage. I, I don't know. Honestly, I think our medical weapons are just a better way to go. I don't think if I see like a bunch of miniguns, I'm going to be tempted to be like, you know what? This is a minigun run. I don't, I genuinely don't think I'll be tempted by it. But I am happy to have one of them for the like added kind of piercing and really nice knockback of it. Like, I'm not happy to have this minigun for the normal reasons I'd be happy to have a minigun, you know, for the massive damage output potentially. Because it's not as massive today. I, I'm happy to have it for the utility. Sure. It's my speed. I'm not taking it. I'm really happy to have it for the utility. And by the same token, let's get another freaking boxing glove. Uh, my range is great. Metal detector, fine. It's early enough. I think it'll be good. Knockback of nine. Yeah, like really good attack speed, really good knockback means... We're going to be juggling it. Okay, this guy can't be knocked back. That's a little annoying. We're going to be juggling enemies like mad. Get out of my face. We have that, uh, the thing where you can aim if you put on, if you hit left click. It's going to be a really good tool for getting rid of eggs. More than pretty much anything? Yeah, I'm already starting to feel a little bit weak here. Which is wild. Some percentage damage would go a long way. So would even more attack speed. Range damage is going to be very nice, too. Uh, yeah. You take this, right? Like, now that it's not a legendary, you just take, you just take this. 8% damage is something you can get over. Maybe. Maybe it's not. The thing is, left click will make us constantly be firing. Which is kind of nice. Like, if enemies walk into our bullets, it'll be really, really helpful. The thing that we sacrifice is the obvious, like, AI program guarantee you will be hitting your enemy with your bullets. Which is obviously a very strong thing. It's definitely something that makes you weaker if it was on all the time. So I'm like really happy about this new change for the new option. All right, we were able to handle the wave, which means that I'm really happy about Tractor. I just need some percentage damage to fix that. Um, Sad Tomato is probably like better on this character than like anybody else. Enemy speed. God, why did it get buffed? It's probably worth, but still. Yeah, Sad Tomato is a godly get for us because of our double effectiveness for it. It's wave nine. We're going to be dealing with some issues here. But again, with enough attack speed upgrades, we can maybe fix the minigun to be like back as a normal tool. It's just super good at kind of clearing a path. 
that mixed with the wandering bot means that hopefully we'll be able to like walk through crowds here a little bit which is really cool you like really get up in there in a way that most ranged builds can't usually because getting in up in there is not really like a range build thing to do but when you want trees or to kill a specific enemy being able to like just walk up in there is so big sure uh sure percentage damage oh my god that's big i can take this penalty Percentage damage. We just really like it right now. Sure. All right. Back to full. There we are. Uh, we're at 18% damage up now. We're at 70% attack speed downgrade on our minigun. Which, again, I know it's so strange to even have any other weapon, but you get offered a minigun that early, you just take it. Even if it is a bad idea. It may influence the shop to give us another minigun, which I would say at this point is not good. Not something I would really want. I think a second one is overkill. I think one is maybe overkill. It's a utility weapon. It's a utility weapon. See, like, this is where I'm happy to have, all, like, all that knockback. I can get up in there and get that guy. We can sort of just stutter step and push our way through a crowd. Which is really nice. No, I just don't like it. Max speed. I'll take some flat HP. We really like that right now. Lifesteal for some harvesting. Probably should have taken that. Oh, well. Schmoop. Yeah. Just gotta be realistic there. Uh, that's a half penalty, so I will take that for 10% crit. That's actually really nice. No, I don't want range damage down. Alright, we're good here. Is this a... Uh, I don't know what... I don't know where the horde wave is gonna be. Back! Get back, ye! Get back, ye! This is weird. What a weird situation. We just bully enemies by pushing them away. Away, 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 away. Another wandering bot would pretty much mean, like, if we die, it's gonna be because of bullets. The medical gun sound effect is one of the best. Is it a little annoying? Maybe. But I also like it. So it's, I don't want it changed, really. Yeah. Don't you dare enter my domain. Nah. Uh, more attack speed. I know armor, yes, cool. Uh, I don't need more enemies because we're on a... We're going on to a, uh, a horde phase, so I don't know that it's going to be a good call. Yeah, I'll take Finn. I'll take glass cannon. Sure. <laughs> Wave 12. So yeah, what is a horde phase really? I am definitely noticing not every enemy is dropping money. Not every enemy is dropping money. If it's a, if that's what it is, then it's so much worse than an elite phase, like, for the long-term health of your run. Because it's just like, what if it was a terrible time, but you got no reward? Hmm? Interested? Are you interested? The elite is just like, hey. Hey, bub. Are you already winning? Here's a legendary. Are you losing? Well, you're dead now. Okay. I'm definitely seeing a lot of enemies blink out of existence. I'm seeing a lot of enemies getting corralled like crazy, which I think is hilarious to look at. Yeah. 
That is interesting. Let's do it. Nine percent dodge, big time. Uh, baby with a beard. Yeah, we take that. I wouldn't mind some armor now, like to kind of patch things up a little bit here. What's my tax be at? Forty-five down. This wave should be a joke by comparison. I haven't gotten to take Baby with a Beard in so long. I haven't done a run that's like... That would be made better by Baby with a Beard in so long. Which is crazy because it's such a good item. But when you're not doing range damage builds and range matters to you, then you can't really take it. I will say I hate Baby with a Beard and Knockback. And high knockback, which we have. But, uh... Not proving to be much of an issue right yet. Yet. Okay. Let's turn the hell back up. Yeah. Lots of enemies that can't get knocked back. Do we have speed? We have speed. I have a need, a need for speed. HP is going to be good for us. I will take one armor up. Puts us at <laughs> negative 0.5. Interesting. Sure. What's our range? Minus 12. What even happens to this? It gets a lifesteal chance up. It gets base damage up. By a bit. Attack speed. It... I got to be honest. It doesn't upgrade that great. It doesn't upgrade poorly, it just does an upgrade that great. There's some weapons that become night and day gods. Like Slingshot and Shuriken, uh, when they level up, it's like they're going Super Saiyan. Oops. Yeah, there's that baby with a beard knockback shenaniganery going on. Seeing enemies getting knocked into you. It's those situations where I'm kind of like, you know, really happy that the big boys can't be knocked back. Because if, if you pushed a big guy into you, it would be so annoying. Is this a horde? This better be a horde. This had better be a horde because there's this many enemies and I only have 300 bucks. That's stupid. That better have been a horde. It was. Okay, thank God. <laughs> thank God. That would have been... I would have been actually a little upset. Risk it. For a wee bit of a biscuit. It's just, this is the rare character that that's, like, completely fine on. Like, there's almost no risk whatsoever. It's like, it's just, don't walk into an enemy in the first two seconds. Don't literally walk your face into an enemy in the first five seconds and you'll be fine. Man. Doctor a day keeps the enemies away. Just keeping them push, push, push. It's like we're doing. I don't know. We're doing like good ish damage. We're doing pretty good damage. Not godly, just pretty good damage. But the enemies just can't get close to me because I'm abusing the 100% attack speed. You know, there's validity to Chameleon. I just don't like it. Weird. Speed minus luck. Yeah, that's actually... That's damage. I forgot. Uh, yes. Whetstone? I could. I'm not going to, though. That freaking regen, man. That freaking regen, man. 
a good way for me. I can probably take a drink here. Mm. Nice. All right. Yeah, but we like this wave. Chunkier enemies that are not knockback immune. Love it. They just do not, do not get to play. How much damage are we doing with this? 13 damage with a minigun. I mean, minigun is such a good weapon that, like, it's probably doing pretty good damage, even with a 100% attack speed penalty right now. That's just minigun for you. But, again, it's not as much of, like, a, oh my god, what a lucky guy. Holy crap, I never have runs like that. It's not going to be one of those situations today because I'm not entirely convinced that it wouldn't just be better to have a sixth medical gun. To be honest, I'm not convinced that that just wouldn't be better. Uh, I'm going to say no to that. Crit chance, what do we have? 11? Yeah, I'm taking, I'm taking a nine dodge. That's nuts. XP, I, I don't know why I'm looking at XP generation then. Uh, honestly, there's something kind of fun about that. You know what? The, the early tractor. Early tractor paying extraordinary dividends. Like, I haven't really gotten other upgrades. So what are we dealing with here? Oh, it's Mr. Boatwake. Mr. Boatwake. Can we kill you? It's a weird one. Okay. Does he not charge towards me anymore? Oh, there he does. This is so strange. I actually can't really get to him. Huh. Well, that is going to make guns quite a bit worse, isn't it? The fact that I can't really kill the boss. Not because I don't do enough damage, but... Because there's just too much stuff in the way, and I don't have piercing. Oh, that's actually a really big oversight, isn't it? Oh. Like, I literally just can't get to the boss. He's he's in the middle of that clump. I just can't do anything. That's a pretty big oversight. Yeah, guns are actually, like, really bad then, huh? Anything that doesn't pierce, bounce... Or, I guess, technically melee. Like, all those things are going to have really big issues because of that. That's that's a that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Well, I know it's speed down, so it's a damage down. I'm aware. I'm aware. But I'm more in favor of pushing away enemies. It just sounds even funnier to do it while they're slow. All I'm missing is Ugly Tooth to be the ultimate bully. I'm a control deck. I'm not aggro. I'm not not aggro, I'm just mostly control. You ain't leaving that corner, babies. I put babies in the corner. Eggs that I can't quite get to. Yeah, I feel like this update was maybe tested as melee or something. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, this late, I go attack speed. Sure. I even roll another time? I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Boss is going to be a bit jank. But we have... How much lifesteal on these? 70... And sorry, sorry, sorry. 31% attack speed downgrade on the minigun. Some interesting stuff here today. Some very interesting stuff. Very weird stuff here today. 
It's worth noting we had that issue with the the elite. Even though we do have baby with a beard, like that kind of propagates back line, and we have knocked back to potentially push enemies away from the boss. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We get back up to full really quick, but if we take a couple hits in quick succession like that, we are in hell. Don't I have like 30, 40 dodge? What is this wave? What is this wave? How is any other, like, how how do you do this on like a bad, like a kind of bad run? Like it's just a neutral, just pretty good run. I don't think it's possible. All right, well, good news is we don't have to worry about it. Okay, screw you. Staying close enough to always be getting the life steal. If we can kill, we can kill. Goal is live. We're probably a bit better at just like just living forehead. But the good news is like we kind of like always standing close to and what is happening. There's so many enemies that spawn now nowadays. You swear I was playing the loud. Okay. Oh, oh bother. Go, please. Thank you. Wait, what? Oh, I killed the other guy? Huh. That was stressful. That was stressful. God, good God, this new update is a heart attack on a stick, man. I don't know, man. There we go. All but one remains. The one in the dead center. Like a crown jewel. A trophy in the case waiting to be placed. Oh, boy. Boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy. Saver, saver, saver. That's all we got. And then we got danger level five wins with everybody. Why not? Um, Man, we'll, we'll see what we can do. But alas, alas, that is that. And that is going to do it here for today. If you would be sad to see this series go, you got to let me know in the form of a comment down below. What do you want to see out of the series when we are done with the Danger Level 5s? I do not plan to be done. There's so many dumb builds that are left to be done. Um, like, there's some just there's just wacky stuff across the board on top of the fact that, obviously, uh, what is it? The Chunky has been completely changed. Wait, what the heck? Three, four, three, four, three, four. What the heck? Uh, Chunky's been completely changed and is very interesting now. There's just lots of different weird, awkward builds to try. Some of the characters we got Danger Level 5 wins on immediately. We haven't really played around with as much. There's just lots of stuff to check out still. So let me know. Comment down below. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Roguelix more every single day. Subscribe for more Brotato every day. And I'll see you next time. So, bye.